Can you catch a plane to the land of Africa, America? Not really. You can't. It doesn't exist. So why are we calling ourselves black and African American right. when there's no such thing of those lands? Right? right? It, there wasn't a rich no, it never deteriorated. It deteriorated in a sense where no our originality Right. There's a reason why it got taken away. Because we weren't humble enough to listen to the most high God. Let me get Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28, verse 15. We also had three. Listen to this. The book of Hosea. Chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because they have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt. The book of Proverbs, it gives you, it, it tells you, it's the wisdom, not destruction. Okay, it also says, it's lack of knowledge. How long will you do Right, right. Now listen to this. Because in the beginning, we was given laws, statutes, and commandments. You just admitted that, right? But we didn't keep them, our forefathers, right? And still to the day, we are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, right? Read what you got, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Go! But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, uh -huh. to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Uh -huh. So we are living in the curses right now, right? And that's what that's why me and my brothers out here, strong soldiers of the most high guy in your house side, is out here oh. to bring it to our people to tell them to wake up out of sleep. Wake up, man. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 54. I'm about to bring you a curse. Right, it, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's 316 uh, all tripping together law, statutes, and commandments. And there's also judgment. So right now we're reading the judgment. 600. 600. Yeah, 616. 13. 13. Also give you that. Oh yeah, Carl, we're gonna get there. Right. I'm glad I, you brought I, that I, up. I, 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 I love mean, the I book know of everything in the Bible, but I know enough to keep me writing people right. down. Right. Listen to this curse, sis. The, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. His eyes should be evil to what? Toward his brother. He's killing his brother in the street. And toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. See, that's what we're doing now, man. We up here whoring out our sisters now. Yes. We causing our sisters not to be wives. We causing them to be baby mamas and thoughts that's in in, in in bars like this. Them that have naked out here. Right. And our men, yeah, you know I mean, they up here. Man, our men is so simple out here today. Yeah, you know I mean, they go out of their wits to please these damn women. Right. And at the point that they don't even have nothing for themselves. That's right. The car that they drive in belongs to either their mama or their girlfriend. Right. The house that they live in either belongs to grandmama, to they on grandmama couch, or it belongs to that girl that they dating. Right. So when she break up with his ass, he up here trying to take everything she got. He right. trying to destroy everything she got. And he ain't worked a damn day in his life and got nothing. So how right. break that mentality? So most but, men, okay. most men go up with that mentality, that's what they want to do. Right, so that, drop what you got, go to Matthew chapter uh, 5, verse 13. And that's a good question, sis. How do the men come out of that mentality, right? First of all, they got to hearken to this word. Because this is the problem. Our forefathers didn't do it. And that's what caused us to be in these conditions, to be on us forever until we come back to this, right? But this is what they first got to know. The book of Matthew. Chapter 5 and verse 13. No. Ye are the salt of the earth. Ye are the what? Ye are the salt of the earth. Uh-huh. But hold up. Like you. The salt of the earth, right? Sis, uh, you a sister, so I know you can cook your tail off, right? So what do that salt do to your food when you cook it? 
Give it flavor. That's right. Salt give your food flavor, sis. The more read that from the top of the table. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 13. Bring it out. Ye are the salt of the earth. My brothers and sisters, y'all are the salt of the earth. That's according right. to the most high God. Right. Read. Deep. But if the salt lose his savor. Hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that. The most high God said you are the salt of the earth, right? Right. But if the salt of the earth lose its flavor, listen to this. Wherewith shall it be salted? Uh -huh. It is for good for nothing. Nah, man, it's, it's the greatest thing on the earth. It is for good for nothing, uh -huh. but to be cast out uh -huh. and be trodden under the foot of men. That is what's going on. That is what... You are blessed to be the salt of the earth, what? but you don't know it, and that's why you're trotted on on the foot of man, good for nothing out here on Ashwood. Right. Cause you ain't been taught that you are the salt of the earth, man. Right, right. You hear what I'm saying, sis? And when our people start listening to this word and stop running away from it, give me uh, Proverbs, is it Proverbs chapter 28, verse one? Because a lot of people don't want to hear this word, man. They don't want to hear the blessings. You know what I mean? Although they living in the curses. Right. And this is what they do. Read that. 